is one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures them. Oh, it's up. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't, he doesn't waste time with his head to chest just punching. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strike, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pop. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the ground. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice loop and punch. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch the clinch. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Clinch position. Beautiful elbow over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Just missed with the left there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice punch there by Choi. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Able to land there with the straight left. It's such a fast leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That's a big strike right there. Blocks the shot. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrills with this ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, big punch lands. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, there's a big overhand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That one certainly found the target. Then both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Final seconds here of round one. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming defend them and make the fight happen where he wants it to. All right, so a lot of highlights from which to choose after those previous five minutes. And on the other side, you better start checking some of these leg kicks, man. Yeah, and when your opponent is throwing that many leg kicks, it takes one good check. If he takes one, if he gets one good check off, he may deter him from throwing these kicks over and over. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope the power works, John. Yeah. Sometimes we got to deal with the ebbs and flows of the fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, nice jab by Choi. Just missed on the overhand left. Big body kick. Just misses with the jab there. Nice punch there. Back and forth we go. Just misses there with the left. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. The Korean Superboy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. And potentially a critical takedown here. Nice move into half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that goal. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job passing. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. Oh! up again you gotta like that well he's really picked up the pace here in round two much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket nice kick throwing that jab yet again out of range he's very tricky when he throws that body kick keep your head in it keep your head in it yeah. ooh head kick lands he's hurt straight punch lands
punch coming, it's blocked. He's so committed to body punching. Real quick leg kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Ooh, what a punch. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Beautiful kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. 20 seconds left. Joy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. Right on the button. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Whiffs on that offering. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. What a punch. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. What a right hand by this young man. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. And they separate. Just misses with a left hook there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice right hand. Close guard. Gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh! Oh, straight right. Oh, he's really 
really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Blocked. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. The perfect setup with the hands, got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's gonna finish the fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Straight right hand, no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. <laughs> Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Good series of punches by him there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Wow. Good punch, Lance. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Wow! up again here, but hurt. Oh, yeah. Beautiful strike. What a fight so far. Excellent work with those strikes. Combination. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big kick lands. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Back to the feet! Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Another beautiful thing down there. Oh, that left hand is on point. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. 
outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue. Oh! Oh! Straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. I need you to pay attention. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Straight right hand now just misses. Right hand punch with the clinch. And now, oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended